So speaking about Iftar, what's the closest market that we have here? Hmm, that would be community market. Community yes. market, close, right? And we can find everything that we need. Everything. So we'll be preparing a delicious, very quick, easy meal for Iftar. Okay. And you guys get to invite your friends to come over. So we'll have like a community Iftar. Cool. Inshallah. Mashallah. Yeah. <laughs> Later today, Saidia, Mansoor and I will be going to community market to shop for ingredients for the delicious meal we'll be making for Iftar today. At least we'll get the benefits, the rewards. You yeah, also yeah, end yeah. the rewards. You also end the rewards and I have mm. the biggest <laughs> ladder. Assalamu alaikum ladies. Wa oh, I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. It's been a long time coming. My name is Jamila and so I'm here today to show you how to make hmm, my signature hot pot potato. This potato dish is a delectable meal that is quick and easy to prepare and is so perfect for Ramadan. I'm sure you guys will be wondering, what's this signature hot pot potato? It has a fancy name, but nothing complicated. Something very easy that you and your friends can prepare and enjoy for iftar. So let's get cooking. So as it is right now, I've got my potato boiling in the pots. Just regular potatoes, your Irish potatoes. You can even use sweet potatoes if you want. And potatoes, of course, are rich in carbohydrates. You need complex carbohydrates during Ramadan to provide you the energy that you need to take you through the day. So uh, here I have some smoked fish, you can use sardine and then some vegetable oil, a mix of bell peppers, we'll have red and green here, I love bell peppers, they just add this um, very nice flavour to your meal. So we'll have some carrots, which are very good for you, they're rich in fibre, great for your eyes, so you need to see very well yeah, as students. So, and then I've got some um, spring onions, um, so I actually separated the white part from the green part because this cooks very fast and we don't want it to lose color when we're cooking and that's basically it of course we have our star ingredient which is our maggi cube you know that and i'll be using the maggi mixed pea ginger and garlic so i'm just gonna get to it right now under like 10 minutes we'll be ready so my potato is ready it's boiled not too soft because we're still gonna get it inside the pan okay so we're starting first with some vegetable oil just a little bit of vegetable oil once this heats up we're going to add our onions. Um, so idea yeah, it's time for iftar already. So I think it would be nice if you can get some banana, some fruits, so that our ladies here can start um, breaking their fast with something, OK? OK, so I'm adding the white part of the onion first. So this is just fine. And then I'll add some of my minced ginger. Yeah, so ginger added, we're gonna saute this. Mm. It smells so good already. Has the garlic started hitting your nostrils? <laughs> so the next thing to go in will be our carrots because you know carrots take a bit of time to cook. So we need the carrots for the vitamin A, which is great for your eyes, like I said. We're gonna add our smoked fish now. So we're adding the potatoes now. Our meal will be ready in about, hmm, let me think, <laughs> three minutes, I'm sure. So you see, like before we started cooking, I already had all of my ingredients prepped. And that's what you can do like as roommates or as friends. If somebody else is gonna be longer in class, you can start prepping the ingredients, isn't it? And this is Ramadan, so we need to be helpful. Um, the time to, you know, share goodness. Um, if you're kind to one another, you know, every simple act of kindness ends your reward, isn't it? 
Even this meal that I'm here standing preparing for you guys. Yeah, just eating. Me, I'm here. I'm earning ladder. Koba hakaba. Okay, so I added a bit of curry. Just to add the extra spice. And then I'm gonna add my bell peppers. Yeah. So this go in. Alright. This is looking super good already. Like I'm sorry you guys can't see, see this. <laughs> but it looks so good. It smells so good. And I can't wait to have some. So the last thing to go in will be my who can guess what's the last thing coming in now? I can't hear you. Like, Maggie, yes, Maggie my Maggie season. So I'm going to add my Maggie mixed pea, ginger and garlic. This is the kind of meal that you want to make and have leftovers, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so this looks so good. So the last thing now, I'm just going to top it off, finish it off with my spring onions. So the green part of my albasami lewashi. Okay, so I'm not gonna add all, just a little bit. And then we'll turn the heat off and our meal will be ready to eat. I'm so excited, I can't wait. I really can't, okay, I'm hungry now. <laughs> so how do you know how many cubes of Maggi to use? Oh, that's very easy. So just think about if you're cooking for six people, two cubes of Maggi is fine for your pot of um, food or whatever it is you're cooking. So I'll know now who can do math very quickly. So if we're cooking for 12 people, how many cubes of Maggi will we need then? Oh. Four. Simple. So this is ready. This looks so good. And we're about to serve this up, so. Sorry, Mom. Yeah. I noticed that while you were making it, you didn't add salt, and I thought it's quite essential in every cook. Oh, very, very, very good question. Very valid question. When you cook with Maggi, honestly, you don't need any extra salt. And you're going to get to taste this meal, and you'll see that all of the salts that you need is in the food so you know too much salt isn't good for you isn't it yeah. so maggie has all of what you need in a seasoning and you don't have to add extra salt <laughs> it's been nice cooking this meal for you guys and i can't wait to serve you all um just to give me the pleasure to serve everyone so it's my walk to the ike 9 zeny <laughs> so i can end all of the ladder just like allow her for watching it's been a pleasure cooking with my lovely, lovely sisters here um, in ABU. I hope you'll be replicating the same recipe at home. And I hope all of you are going to try it as well. Yes. Yes. All right, so thank you and see you next time. Assalamu alaikum.